Hi, my name is Phil Wilkes, also known online as Phil W, and this is a short video tutorial to get the best out of my new hair for Carrera called Long Drape Hair. I'm very excited about this new hair, because I believe it's the first drapeable hair product to deliver consistent results. It's quite easy to use, but a little more involved than just the drag and drop that you may be used to with other hair products, so I hope you'll find this tutorial useful. What I'm going to do first is to look at the problem with existing long hairs uh, and I'm going to use um, side long hair which is another um, hair of mine. Just drop the, the basic hair model and you can see the hair appear on Victoria 4 here. And you can see that it fits nicely around the shoulders at the moment. But if I select the head and just move the head into a different position you can see now on this shoulder the hair is actually coming through the shoulder and if I tilt the hair quite forward then the hair is kind of floating not resting on the back and what I've done what I did for sidelong hair is to provide several different versions for various left and right turns and tilting the head up and down and because of the style of the hair, that covers most eventualities. I'm just going to close that. So I've set up a, um, a test bed for long drape hair, and I'm just going to talk you through using it. So we've already posed our figure. And the first thing you want to do with long drape hair is to load a face shield. Now this is um, an invisible prop. When you drape the hair, it keeps the hair away from covering the face. I and mean, it also helps in just shaping the hairline slightly. I've got uh, two props here, one for M4, one for V4. I'm going to drop the, the V4 onto the head. And you can see there that something has appeared, but you can't actually see any change uh, because it's not visible. So if I just tick the the visibility, you'll be able to see that there is actually a prop there that just helps keep, when you drape the hair, it keeps the hair away from the face. But normally you just keep that invisible. And we're going to have a look at the hair styles. And you can see that there's various lengths available. So there's one foot, one and a half foot, two foot, and for special effects three foot the three foot's probably really too long for everyday use but if you've got a wicked witch that you want to do for halloween that has really long hair then uh, that's going to be the ideal choice i'm going to choose one of the um, one and a half feet options and the first three are center parted styles the first one drapes forward of the shoulders the second kind of drapes on the shoulders and the third drapes behind the shoulders. Um, you've then got a back combed style without a, a parting and also a, a similarly back combed style but without a scalp cover. Uh, we'll have a look at the scalp cover in a moment but I'm going to, going to use the style one and again just drag that onto where it says model um, as you probably used to with other hair models. So I'm now going to go into the the hair room. So click on the spanner and we're going to have a look at the the hair in a little bit more detail. It's always worth when you're when you're doing a drape just to have a look uh, just so that you can see what's going on. Uh, I'm just going to have a look at this hair. It's got long hair which is obviously the the long hairs there um, and we've also got um, hair called scalp cover and that just provides extra hair over the scalp uh, in particular the parting so you don't get too much of a bald um, head at the um, the parting area. We're going to keep it on long hair and so we're going to go to the dynamics tab and just press drape all and this is where the power of the thing comes in. There's a short pause before anything happens and then you'll see a progress bar pop up. What I would recommend is that while the hair is draping that you do actually watch the hair drape. Here it goes. 
if you decide that, because uh, this is going to take a little bit of time, if you decide to go and check your emails or something like that, when you come back to Carrera, you won't actually be able to see the progress of the drape um, until you it either completes or you press escape. So I would actually recommend that you, you don't do that um, and you keep watching. The reason for doing that is that quite often it, it will reach an acceptable style um, long before the 80 iterations that I've set um, as the default. You can obviously change that. But also you might find that before it reaches a settled style, it reaches a more dynamic or windswept kind of look um, that you might find attractive. And at that point you can press escape to uh, unlock in that, that particular style.